Next in the day beer review, we're going to be looking at Bourbon County brand Sir Isaac Stout. This is one of the variants from 2022. We're going to check out how it's aged. Check it out. Hi everybody, it's Rich and welcome to End of the Day Beer Review. If you're new here, welcome. Um, if you like the review, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, throw some comments down below. Today we're going to go back in time to 2022 and we're going to be looking at Goose Island's Bourbon County brand, Sir Isaac Stout. This is a stout aged in bourbon barrels with figs, graham crackers, and natural flavors. And it says that it will develop up to two years in the bottle. So this has been in the bottle for quite some time and I have a bunch of these. I loved it so I grabbed everything I could and I've been really interested to see how it would age. Um, I did this review, I want to say a little more than two years ago when it came out. Uh, no, a year and a few months ago. So it's been here cellared for a while. Uh, and I'm going to do this again uh, in a couple of years or in a year just to see how some of my favorites from Bourbon County have developed in the bottle. Um, now it does say that this will develop in the bottle for two years. Um, not quite there. So I'm sort of interested to see if the flavors lasted. I remember this being just phenomenal. Having a really good flavor profile where you could get the bourbon, there was that chocolate, there was the figginess. And for me, um, with the exhale, I also got this sort of graham cracker crust, uh, almost like a pudding pie crust, um, your Keebler graham cracker crust. So I'm, I'm sort of interested to see if all of that has at, you know, has lasted. Now, it says here, um, and I've had it before, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Notes of dried fruit, honey, brown sugar, and lime zest. And I do remember clearly not getting the lime zest the first time here. Um, so let's do the pour, and I'm using an official Bourbon County glass. Um, and it pours a very, very dark brown, if not actually just black. Um, not much of a head to speak of. Um, you know, like maybe half a pinky nail. Um, well, I can tell you the bourbon aroma has not faded because it's filling the bar already. Um, I am sort of interested to see what the nose is going to be like. And it's like, oh man, it's like going back to the first time. Uh, deep chocolate. The bourbon's there, there's this deep layer of chocolate, um, a really nice aroma of those dark fruits and fig, a certain sweetness to it, um, definitely the figginess though. If anything, it smells like the fig has, has sort of come even more forward than it was last time, um, which I'm really sort of excited to, to get into that. And yeah, I'm still getting some of that sort of graham cracker, cinnamony um, aroma here. Um, no lime zest yet again. Uh, hmm. Yeah, actually more graham cracker than I, I remember from the first time. Um, all right, so I've been dying for this and I've saved this. It's a special uh, occasion today, so I wanted to give it a try and see how it would come out. And that continues to be a gorgeous beer. Um, so the dried fruit, the fig, has really come to the forefront, more so than I remember. But again, it's been a while since I've had one of these. Um, it's got this really good chocolate flavor to it. Um, the bourbon has sort of the, 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 the bourbon county flavor is there, but it's faded back just a little bit. Um, and now the fig and the chocolate and the graham cracker have really come forward more than I expected. I was worried that this would fade and this has not faded at all. Yeah, this is beautiful. Um, there's just no other way to put it. This is an outstanding variant. I thought it was great in the beginning. Um, I think it's mellowed. A little bit more and there's much more of that fig flavor there than I recall the chocolate is taking a second place to the fig 
and then as you swallow you're getting sort of that what I associate with graham cracker crust sort of on the back of the tongue um, as far as alcohol content goes um, you don't taste the booze at all in this one um, even now two relatively hefty sips in I'm not getting a lot of booze out of this this is this is beautiful mm. You know, this is one of those variants that I wasn't expecting to love, and then I wound up really, really loving it, um, and went out and bought a few extras to put back, and I'm so glad I did. Now, I know that the Goose Island variants are not the unicorns that they once were. You know, you can go, I, I mean, I think I bought another one of these this year during the Black Friday sales, so... Um, you know, I think that it has aged beautifully. It's mellowed just a little bit. Um, the bourbon has receded a bit, but all of that figginess has come to the forefront and makes this really, really enjoyable. It's chocolate, it's fig, a hint of the bourbon, that, that graham cracker crust on the back end. Um, and I'll tell you now, several sips in, I'm just starting to get a little bit of an alcohol burn. And we want to remember that this is not um, a low uh, ABV. This is 13.9, so not the highest, but I mean this year's, and by this year's I mean uh, 2023's Bourbon Counties were more like 12% uh, where I was. So for this um, to be 13, and, and quite honestly, I thought the 2023 was a little bit, um, what's the word I'd use, was a, a little hot as far as the booziness. Um, and I know that given a year, it's going to be exceptional. Um, but I will say that the 2022 is still, to me, one of the best years of Bourbon County, period. Um, I really did enjoy the, um, the fig variant a great deal. I think the base from 2022 is one of the best bourbon counties I've had. And when we did our blind taste test uh, a year ago, the 2022 came in second place, I think only to the 2018, which was just magnificent. So, you know, if you're looking and you see um, one of these Sir Isaac Stouts out in the wild, it is definitely worth picking up. Um, in fact, it's worth picking up two even now. Um, to see what it's like now because it's gorgeous and to see what it's going to be like in another year when we hit that true two year mark and you know we get to see how much it has developed in the bottle. I think the flavor is different than I remember. In fact, I'm probably gonna have to go back and rewatch my review just to see how different it was. In fact, I'm gonna try to throw the link to that review down below so you can see some of the difference. But I will say this, the chocolate, a little more pronounced. The fig, way more pronounced. Um, the the alcohol content has mellowed a great deal. Um, it, it, it I don't remember it being particularly boozy back in the day, um, but it is dangerously, dangerously um, smooth right now. Like you could drink this bottle and not realize how much alcohol you had consumed. So this is a really, really outstanding variant. And it was last year and it still is this year. And it's one that if I see on the shelves by me, um, I would pick up another one just to replace the one that I'm drinking tonight. Anyway, folks, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Uh, if you've tried the Star Isaacs recently, or even if you tried it when it first came out, love to hear what you have to say about it. Throw, you know, throw some uh, comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you've tried it recently, I'd love to see if my palate agrees with yours and if it seems like we're on the same page when it comes to this. Because again, I think this was outstanding. In fact, it's probably my second or third favorite variant. I think the 2018 vanilla is probably still my favorite variant. Um, you know, the, the mid-range variants. Uh, my second one, I think, is going to be the Cola from, I guess that was 21, and then 22 last year. I thought that the fig was outstanding, and I still do. Um, anyway, folks, if you'd like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time on End of the Day Beer Review. I'm going to sit back and truly enjoy this. Cheers.